G'day folks. What a beautiful fire going. It's just gorgeous. It's about 8 or 9 degrees outside. And it feels to be about 16 or 17 inside. It's lovely. It doesn't take much to warm up in here. It's not a huge space. It's beautiful. I love it. Well, I've pulled the engine out. I did that oh, three or four days ago and started to pull it apart and uh, it's looking great. I'm really happy, really, really happy. It's been such a learning curve, this motor, uh, for me, especially persisting with the carb. I've had so, ma <laughs> so many ups and downs. But uh, I'm really happy with the fueling of it. I'm going to um, confess, I did keep a little bit from you guys that uh, I was, well, I was going to, I was going to say something when it happened, but oh, look, I was just so deflated at the time and I couldn't just, I couldn't bring myself to uh, saying anything, but I've had some issues, uh, obviously you know about this one a couple of years ago, uh, with this piston, number three, this one right here, where I torched it. Now this was pre, uh, this was E85, but pre, pre um, boost reference power valves in the carb, and I was having lean issues on a collective readout of all the cylinders into the single tailpipe uh, back then. But what was happening, I was having terrible time with number three, hence torching the piston, losing compression, pushing the gasket, all that sort of nasty stuff. Then replaced the piston and went on the path of putting in the boost reference power valves fattening it up, then push the gasket. Then realised after that, well obviously we struck a little bit of detonation, and then I got a um, air fuel ratio gauge hooked up to this primary pipe. And I thought, well, this is my problem one. And from that point on, I would tune from that only. And we ended up running seven jet sizes up on this rear corner, the rear corner here, to compensate for the, I don't know if you can see it, what have we got there? We've got a 77 and what have we got there? I can see that one. I want focus. Seventy-two. That's a five. Five. Sorry, tell a lie. It was a five. So we've gone up five jet sizes on this side here, and it's made a huge difference because now I get a a good solid low seven on the lambda reading on this one all the time. So. I actually did wipe a bit of that down, so just to just to check it over. But yeah, gaskets are in great shape. Awesome shape. It's just amazing, really. You give it the fuel, and uh, you know a lot of your problems won't <laughs> you won't have. Goodness me, it's plagued me for years. All of this, it really has. It's been a long journey, but um, I'm really happy with it so far. It looks really good. It looks fantastic. These gaskets will not hold up to any detonation. They'll just, they just go. They don't even like it. I've blown head gaskets without any detonation showing on the pistons. They just don't hold up. But if your tune's good, I've always been a believer they will hold, they will hold, and can make good power for what I need. You know, it mightn't be 
thousand horsepower, but got to remember the car only weighs around 1360 kilos, 10 pounds of boost uh, with those alloy heads. I mean, I have put down 430 at the wheels with at, at about four and a half thousand revs with it leaning out and carrying on. So that's on seven pound of boost. Uh, I haven't been back since and don't plan on it. I'm not about chasing horsepower. I felt that now I can, I've got my uh, mind around it all as far as the tune goes. I run around 21 degrees total uh, on 10 psi with around a solid low sevens, high sixes at times uh, under wide open throttle. And it's there's no popping, no banging. No carry-on, no gaskets getting pushed out. It's as happy as anything. It's just bloody great. It's awesome. Let's flip it over and have a little look underneath. I did check, and there was another concern. Oh, hang on, guys. I'll just stop for a sec. Um, I did check the thrust on this, because I did, years ago, I've had thrust issues, which was caused by the transmission that was my fault again on the cooler lines were too small which in turn created a restriction through the trans cooler which made which pushed the converter forward too much um, per, too much pressure on the converter and it was just pushing forward and wiped out the uh, that was on the other crank I, I had another crank same as this and wiped it out but since then uh, improved the oil the transmission cooler lines and I monitor it I've got a gauge and this thing here is just perfect seven thou and it's amazing because it hasn't moved uh, since oh well I don't know what year that was but I did a check oh, I think it was about a year or two ago and it was no change. So that's perfect. It's awesome to know that we're not wiping out <laughs> any more cranks in the meantime. But it's looking fantastic under here so far. It's nice and clean and there's no there was no material in the bottom of the sump. Uh, everything seems seems good. I ran a little pair a little locking nut on there for my oil pickup. That's my little modified pickup you can see there. Extends down another oh, probably 30 mil, 30, possibly 40 mil from standard. Because you've got this quite thick through here. Nice big pickup surface area. Awesome. Works really well. I've had no no um, oil surge or picking up air, losing oil pressure at all, because I've every time I uh, play back my video and always looking at the oil pressure gauge, always keeping an eye on it, especially in corners and hard braking, I always have a look and it's never it's never given me any issues. So that's very, very encouraging that. But I will note guys, I have picked up something on this. I've I've had um this is the, the drain back back in to the sump from the heads. Uh, the, I've just realised the oil level is actually at, at this height. Now this is always sitting in oil and it always leaked. It was leaking at the scavenge pump all the time and the line was always coated in oil. So I'm going to fix this. I'm actually going to raise it up a little bit higher. And I want to put another one in because I want to run uh, my turbo drain back in here instead of up at the front where I used to, where I ran it. I don't want to sort of run it in there anymore. I want to block that off and I want to run turbo drain and this, just mount them up a bit higher. I may even come up here somewhere. I'm not sure. I haven't sort of thought about it much. Maybe just here above, above here. And I want to run my drain from the 
uh, from my catch can uh, back into the sump there because I want to run it through the scavenge pump that pumps out of the heads as well. So it's all forced back in because I've been having, I did mention in the other video that the the um, drain box has been, it must be filling up because it's spitting oil out out of the tailpipe where the vacuum pan set up is. So if I can keep that drain box uh, empty or down, it should reduce the oil uh, being sucked out through the, because uh, that vacuum pan works really well. So what's the plan? The plan is to pull it apart and check it over. Just check for bearing wear, if there's any bearing wear. Give it a good clean. Check all the piston, uh, the rings. Uh, just clean it all down and make sure I'm not sure if it is leaking out of here to be honest I don't know if it's leaking out of there or if it was coming out of my sump so there was oil I do have a bit of oil that was on the back of the uh, the block here there's a bit of oil floating around and it's been spitting out on my header pipes too so been a bit of a smoke show there for a bit so I've got to sort of fix it I want to put a new I'll put a new Neo seal in it it's not a rope it's a Neo this is an early this must be the early early blocks so yeah the um I'll just turn it over actually and I'll show you the uh, grout held up really well I was really really um really happy with that Grout filled low tide. If you can see it in there. Yeah. It's gone rock hard. It's unbelievable how rock hard that is. Yeah. Jeez, I'm happy with that. The camshafts, bloody perfect. All the lifters and lobes and the heads look bloody great. Everything sort of looks really, yeah. There's nothing really wrong with it. But if I can fix the leak in it and clean it up and uh, reassemble it and do just do these little modifications to it that I'm keen on doing, rerouting my pipes and and doing that, I'll uh, put it all back together and we'll go for uh, We'll go again with it, but oh, it's great to sort of pull it apart and just know that it's that it's happy, and know that all the effort I've put in over the years with the carb and and all that fueling issue I've had is uh, you know I've got on top of it now. It's great. It's awesome. I had a young bloke. I don't know if it was a young bloke, but I had a fella comment on my <laughs> on my page on my last video and he mentioned about what an awakening is and well it's an interesting one because at the moment we are going through an awakening process and what an awakening process is where people are waking up to the real truth of what's going on on this earth uh, so, and, and what, it, what that allows you is for a higher state of awareness, or a higher state of consciousness. And you start to question things. You start to question uh, what the government are doing and what their agenda is. And you start to find out the truth. And it's, it's, um, it's not what you think it is. This planet... Uh, we've been living in under an illusion. We've been manipulated. We are being uh, programmed to function a certain way. And that's the expectation. It starts from school. You're indoctrinated from the time you start school right through education system. And then right through basically your whole life is, is mapped out. There's a, there's a program. And once you're, in, once you're born... You're, in, you're born into that program and you're expected to go to school, get a job, 
when you leave. Have kids, family, whatever you want to do, but you're expected of that. Pay your taxes, behave, uh, abide by the law, um, and listen and pay it, you know, and, and basically pay attention to what the government tell you. Uh, and that's what um, that's what programming is all about. But now people are starting to realise that what the government are doing is uh, barbaric, it's ludicrous, a lot of it doesn't make sense if you really start to read between the lines. Uh, there's a lot of coercion going on, people being forced to get the you-know-what that uh, in the old side of the arm, a lot of people didn't want it but are being forced with their jobs. I mean, come on, think about it. Why should we be forced to take something in our arm that we know nothing about, that they say will protect us. Well, where's our rights there? Why should we be have to lose our jobs and be pressured into it? So, you know, there's some terrible things going on at the moment. And uh, people are waking up to that fact. That's the awakening. There's a lot of people that are burying their heads that don't want to know. And uh, that's fair enough, you know. Every every person's got their freedom of of uh, what they want to do in life. No one's no one's um, pushing on them. But at the end of the day, I'd rather live on this planet knowing the truth than live in a lie. And yeah, once once you start to understand what's really going on, your life will change. There is no doubt about it. It will change. It's pretty shocking once you start uh, understanding the truth and realising it all makes sense to the truth. Uh, the lies that the government are doing at the moment with, with, the, uh, with all this fear-mongering that they're projecting across, it doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. And so they, they get you in fear. And when you're in fear, you'll believe anything. And unfortunately, that's uh, the majority of uh, society at the moment are in fear. Uh, they bury their heads in something. They don't want to know about it. And unfortunately, they're really missing an opportunity to waken up to their true self. Because once you start to understand the truth of what's, what uh, this reality is all about, you, know, you, you just get this higher awareness come in. And all of a sudden, you, the layers of... Uh, the, the facade, well, the layers of lies just start to peel away, and you feel like you're just being you're being set free. That's how I feel. I feel I feel like I've been set free, uh, just knowing what I've known. And um, you know, I haven't. I'm not jabbed. I've, I was was never going to have it. I'm not an anti jabber either. I uh, I've had bloody all my vac friggin. You know, you know what's in the arms my whole life. Tetanus shots when I stood on nails when I was building and all that. But for some reason, when this one rolled out, I just I felt no. Hang on a minute, they're pushing this too, too far. I've, I've, what's going on here? I, I just stood stood back a bit, and I did a bit of research, and my God, as soon as I did that, I I thought wow. I thought, wow, this just blew my mind. And since then, I've been on a journey of um, of uh, truth, searching it. And yes, it's changed my life. And yes, I have lost a lot of friends, family included. But that's that's the road I'm going to travel down. I'm not I'm not going to live a lie anymore. I've been trying to help people see the light, so to speak, see the truth. Many don't want to see it. Many are in fear of it because it'll it'll upset their routine. It'll upset their way of life. So that's okay. That's fine. It's up to them what path they take. But I can't do that. I've got to live a, a path of truth now, and it's just, just as simple as that. And it's very liberating. It's very liberating. Yeah. All right, guys. Well. I want to talk about it a bit more. Um, I'll, once I pull the, I'm going to pull the crank and that 
out of it in the next few days. I'm quite keen on this actually and start pulling it down and I'll do little inspection videos on it. And I want to talk a bit more about it, especially the royals. Uh, poor old queen, she passed away there not long ago. Well, she's not what you think she is. Um, that's all I'm going to say. She's uh, really yum. <laughs> she fooled us all. I must admit, I only found this out a couple of years ago myself, but she's had us all fooled. The whole royals have had us all fooled. The government have had us all fooled. A lot of celebrities, all the elites, anyone with big, big money that's all caught up in the, in the um, establishment. So, yeah, they've had us all fooled the whole time. There's been another agenda running and it's, it's not been real pretty. It's been very, so I say, well, evil. Is the right word. All right, guys. Well, it's looking good, this. I'm very happy with it so far. So I'll um, put a vid up very soon when I, uh, like I said, when I get moving on. Sorry it wasn't sooner, but I just got busy. I just couldn't get the engine out when I wanted to get time on it. All right, guys. Looks like my battery's going flat. I'll put